Hello, it's Purple Pixels here again. Today we're going to look at my favourite game, World of Warcraft. And the thing that I like doing most in World of Warcraft is catching all the battle packs possible. And there are lots of battle pets you can collect and they are from lots of different places that you can get them from. You can get them from drops, from quests, you can go and buy them from vendors, professions can make different pets. You can get them from doing various achievements, from world events that happen, promotions, trading card games and of course you can buy them for the in-game shop. But the thing that we're going to talk about today is collecting pets in the open world. There's over 500 pets in the game at the moment, that's before Dragonflight launches, of pets that you can capture in the open world. These are all identified with the green paw print above their heads. These can all be pet battled. If you win, you can cage them and they will be there in your pet inventory. A lot of the pets in the open world cannot be traded. So you'll need to catch these. A lot of these you can't go and buy on the auction house. They're not tradable. So, if you want to go and catch them all in Dragonfly, I have got a few tips here that you can use to go and collect pets as quickly as possible. I suggest that you download two add-ons, Trek Packer and Rematch. What Rematch does is it enhances your existing pet UI. You can sort out what you don't have and what you do have. It helps sort out where you are in your pet collection. And helps you keep better track of your pet levels and qualities. In pet battling what it does as well. If you see something and you think. Oh I need something that's really strong against dragon kin. Then you can click on the dragon kin. And it will bring up all the ones that are strong against dragon kins. Against humanoids. It tells me I've got 300 pets that are strong versus humanoids. You can make teams. Great teams in there. It tells you how many pets you've got. You can filter this so you can filter it, see how many pets that you need to collect from quests or from vendors. The total pets and unique pets does include all the pets that you have got to collect, and it does include things like the in game shop, trading card games different events so there are some of them that are in there that you may not be able to collect yourself because the events already passed or they're no longer in the shop but the one thing that i want to show you the most important add-on for anyone who wants to get into pet collection or pet battling is pet tracker this add-on helps you to collect pet pets in the open world it displays the location of all the pets stables and tames on your and tamers on the open world map. It tracks your progress of catching pets in all the zones. It shows you the rarity of pets and the battle and in battle. So if you click on your map, if we go somewhere like Palindor, you can see here that the it's little icons all over the map that is showing you which pets you need to collect or which pets you have already collected depending on what filter you've got on so if we hover over one of these it tells me there that this is a stone armadillo i can find it in this exact location i've already collected one of these it's level 25 and it's normally collected at night time that's when it appears you can see a forest moth frogs that's really, really useful. It shows you exactly where they are in the zone, what you've collected, what you've not collected, what format they're already in, so what level they are, what rarity they are. There's also different ways to track. If you look here, down the side, on the right-hand side, you can see that underneath my quest is a list of pets in this area. These are all the pets that are in this zone, so these are all around here. If you right, if you click on pets, you can show the ones, if I show, show captured, I've captured them all and it disappears. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can, can filter through. 
you can also track them through the safari achievements as well that'll show you what you've collected and there's the tamer achievements as well you can check have you done all the different tamers in the different areas that's another way of tracking them another really really quick way once you've caught these battle pets in the open world quite often they're not maximum level a really easy way of leveling up the pets very quickly is if you have got a lot of alts and you do the dailies on lots of alts you very very quickly collect the pet tokens the pet tokens are staying exactly the same in dragonflight they are not changing this way you can level up all your pets to level 25 very quickly by collecting lots of pet tokens on your alts one other very small um little add-on that's quite useful if you've got a couple of friends that are also doing pet collecting there's an add-on called pet compare so if you're wondering what battle parts you and another player have got in common or that one of you is missing you can type you can type exclamation mark compare in party chat and find out which pets each of you needs and maybe you can do a trade and collect pets a lot quicker so that's a very very quick run through of some tips for dragonfly for pet collectors if you think i've missed anything or if you know of any other add-ons or any other andy tips please feel free to link them below and thank you and hopefully we can do some more pet collecting videos once dragonfly comes out bye <laughs>